hey guys welcome back to my channel if you want to know how i prepared this agidi echo stay tuned and watch the rest of the video and remember that sharing is caring so without further ado let's get right into the video For this, I will be using this corn, 900 gram, which I soaked overnight. So right now, I'll be blending it into a smooth paste. And once I'm done blending it, it will look like this. Finely blended. Then I'll be adding it into a clean bowl and i continue the rest. And once I'm done blending, I will start sieving it. I just tied my chiffon clothes round another bowl and i'll be adding it bit by bit i also be topping water while sieving it to make sure i get out all the starch from it once it's remaining only the chaff i will take it out you can use a cheese cloth or a chiffon cloth to achieve this i will finish up sieving the remaining one off camera and once I'm done sieving everything, I will take off the cheesecloth, gently take it off. Then I will cover the bowl and allow it to rest for at least 8 hours so that it will sediment. Then this, I will be using it for my fufu. Wash and prepare the leaves. It's already 8 hours, so I will be taking out the water from it. What we will need to prepare the agidi has already settled at the bottom of the bowl so i will go on and stir and mix it properly and make sure that it is very light before i turn it into a pot if it is too thick go ahead and add a little bit of water to it and mix properly it's supposed to be light like this just the same consistency as if you want to prepare pap or ogi transfer to your stove and start stirring it's becoming thick now and you have to continue stirring it non-stop because if you stop <laughs> you will spoil the agidio and if you look very closely you will think that uh, it's forming lumps but don't bother yourself just continue stirring it the lumps will still dissolve okay please remember to give this video a massive thumbs up once you are able to control the lumps at this stage, your problem is half solved. If you look very well, you notice that it has thickened though. So, I will be adding hot water to it. Before I started, I boiled water. So, if it thickens, you add hot water and continue stirring, okay? We are almost there, guys. So, do not go anywhere. It will soon be ready. I added hot water to this like four times. I keep adding water and if I add water, I stir. Once it thickens up, I will add again. I continued it like four times before I add the last water to it. The water that we cook it till it is done. We are almost there. Remember to give this video a massive thumbs up because it will not be easy to turn this tea, you know. Now I'm adding the last water that I will use to cook it to perfection. Then I will cover it and cook for about 3 to 5 minutes. And after that, I will give it a massive stir. If you want to know whether it has cooked to perfection, get water from your fridge and scoop a little bit of agidi from your pot and throw it inside the cup it will thicken up immediately also the agidi will be looking shiny like this and here is the one we throw in inside the cup it has thickened up so it's time to start tying it Try to tie it immediately otherwise it will thicken up inside the pot and at this stage, you'll be very, very careful tying it because it is very, very hot. I have a series of 
videos where I showed how to tie a gizi or more and more using on my leaf. But I will be showing it here, but I will be so fast. So if you're a fast learner, you can grab it. And that is it for today's video. After tying it, I allow it to rest for at least 20 minutes for it to form very well. And after that, my agidi is ready. You can enjoy this with stew, with pepper soup, with akara, with ofe, that soup. Bye. <laughs>